Let's solve this derivative problem step by step using the limit definition of derivatives. First, let's write out our function. We have f of x equals 5x squared minus 2x plus 9. The definition of the derivative states that it's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. To use this definition, we first need to find f of x plus h. We substitute x plus h into our original function wherever we see x. This gives us 5 times quantity x plus h squared, minus 2 times quantity x plus h, plus 9. Now, let's expand this expression. First, let's expand the squared term x plus h squared becomes x squared plus 2x h plus h squared. Multiply this by 5 and distribute the negative 2, and we get 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 9. Now we can set up our limit. We subtract f of x, which is 5x squared minus 2x plus 9, and divide everything by h. Notice that the 5x squared terms cancel out, as do the negative 2x terms and the 9s. Next, we can factor out h from the numerator. This gives us h times quantity 10x plus 5h minus 2, all divided by h. The h's cancel out in the fraction. Finally, as h approaches 0, the term 5h goes to 0, leaving us with 10x minus 2. This is our derivative. f prime of x equals 10x minus 2. To verify this makes sense, recall that the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of x is 1. So 5 times the derivative of x squared gives us 10x, and negative 2 times the derivative of x gives us negative 2. The derivative of a constant is 0, so the 9 disappears. And that's how we find the derivative using the limit definition. This method, while more involved than using derivative rules, helps us understand where those rules come from.